Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. Hayden Parrish. Can you hear me? Okay. Oh, he dropped. Okay. All right. Sorry, I hit the wrong button there. All right, Ms. Parrish, you're here on a couple of matters today. You're here first on 2024 CR 280 at State of Kansas versus Hayden Parrish. You're here for a first appearance on that matter. You are charged in count one with attempted arson, a level eight person felony. <clears throat> if you were convicted of that charge, you'd face a minimum seven months, maximum 23 months imprisonment. The low end of that is presumptive probation, maximum fine up to $100,000. Count two, criminal threat, a level nine, non, or level nine person felony. If convicted of that charge, minimum five, maximum 13 months imprisonment. The low end of that is presumptive probation, maximum fine up to $100,000. Do you understand what you have been charged with? Yes, sir. Cheryl Stewart has been appointed to represent you in this matter. You need to understand Ms. Stewart's services may not be free at the conclusion of this case, you may be ordered to reimburse the state of Kansas for those services. You have a $100 fee that is due the clerk, the district court. That fee is due by the 16th day of October, 2024. If you have any questions about that, talk to Ms. Stewart. She will let you know what the reasoning is for that. Your next hearing will be on November 5th at 11 o'clock. So contact Ms. Stewart, maintain contact with Ms. Stewart. And then in your other matter, you're here on a bench warrant appearance, you were arrested on the seventh day of October, they're alleging that you violated uh, terms of your bond, which is a violation of protection order. So get in contact with Ms. Stewart. You and Ms. Stewart can get that scheduled for a hearing. Mr. Rutherford, is there a motion to revoke filed already? I believe there is, Your Honor. Um, if it hasn't been filed yet, it's prepared and should be filed shortly. Okay. Ms. Parrish, anything, any questions without discussing anything in your case? Um, no, just how would it work? Because I believe my mother is looking into hiring me an attorney. So. Okay, if she hires an attorney, Ms. Stewart will withdraw. And uh, then whoever your mother hires, uh, you can go forward with there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, Chad Miller. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Mr. Miller, you're here today on an unfiled case, a probable cause affidavit. It's like uh, you could be facing charges of trafficking of contraband in a correctional facility and also possession of a controlled substance with the intent to distribute uh, that controlled substance to wit would be methamphetamine. Mr. Rutherford, we're here today for bond recommendation. 
Well, Your Honor, that trafficking charge, I believe, is a level six non-person felony. Um, the distribution would be a level three drug felony. Um, it's my understanding that Mr. Miller has some other cases going on, so there's likely going to be a hold. Um, but on this matter, the state would request $50,000 bond, uh, cash commercial surety. Mr. Miller, you've heard the request for bond from the state. Anything you would like to say about the amount of bond without discussing your case? I mean, I don't have no money. I don't. I ain't got a pot to piss in. So. Okay. Your bond is $50,000. That can be posted by a cash or commercial surety. If you're able to bond out, maintain contact with your attorney. Keep a current address on file with the Ellis County Attorney's Office. No possession or consumption of alcohol or illicit drugs. No violation of any laws. Your next court date at this time is December 17th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. Yes. You may have court in another case prior to that time. Yes. yes. So I'm, uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not allowed to use the phone or anything for 30 days. They won't let me call nobody except the lawyer. Um, how much I can't get bond? Uh, so I'm not, I don't know what their protocol I'm, is over there. I'm being punished for what you're. I'm being charged with right now. Yeah. Okay. So they. I'm not allowed to use a tablet. Go to store. <laughs> nothing. Like. So how am I supposed to? I can't. Uh, take that up with the uh, sheriff. Yep. Oh, I have. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Your Honor, I'll need to relocate for the last one. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. Well, we're waiting on him to relocate. Your uh, history lesson is today in 1871. On this day, the Great Chicago Fire began in the barn of Patrick and Kathleen. Catherine O'Leary. I believe uh, it's been a long time since I've been in elementary school, but I believe at that time uh, Mrs. O'Leary's cow kicked over the lantern. If I that's what I've heard. Exactly. Well, you got to hobble those cows when you're milking them. <laughs> Austin Smith? Yes, sir. Mr. Smith, you're here today on a unfiled case, probable cause arrest. Looks like from this probable cause affidavit, you could be charged with possession of opiate, opium, narcotic, or certain stimulant, distribution of marijuana, more than 25 grams, less than 450 grams, criminal use of a weapon, possession of drug paraphernalia, and fail to affix a Kansas drug tax stamp to the marijuana or controlled substance. Here today to set your bond, Mr. Rutherford. Your Honor, the highest level of offense here is that distribution, which I believe is a level three drug felony. I'll also note that Mr. Smith appears to reside out of state. Um, looks like his address is from North Carolina. Um, I reviewed a triple I. He does have quite a bit of history, most of that being property crimes, including burg burglary. Um, in my opinion, he'd be somewhere between an E and a G history on that, uh, making his presumed prison offense if convicted. Um, the state's going to request a $50,000 bond, cash commercial surety. Mr. Smith, you've heard the request for bond without discussing any part of your case. Is there anything you would like to say about the amount of bond requested? Uh, no, sir, that I was just very cooperative and didn't try to. Okay. Your bond is set at $50,000 that can be posted by cash or commercial surety. If you're able to bond out, you need to appear in court as scheduled, maintain contact with your attorney, keep a current address on file with the Ellis County Attorney's Office. 
no possession or consumption of alcohol or illicit drugs, no violation of any laws. If you're out on bond at this time, your next scheduled court date is December 17th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. Any questions? No, sir. All right, thank you. Mr. Rutherford, the file by date is October 15th.